Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. It's been so long. I've missed you guys. I really have. I've missed being in my little studio area. Um, We've been nursing my husband back to health for the past, I want to say like, two, I feel like he's been sick for like two weeks. He's been sick a, a minute. <laughs> I mean, he's well now. We are 100% today. So, hallelujah. Thank you for the prayers. For those of you that already knew all of this and um, you were praying for him, for me, for us, for the family. I do appreciate it because your pr our, the prayers didn't go unanswered. Timothy is 100%. And um, we all are. We all, in some form or capacity, had a little sniffle, cough, something in the throat. <laughs> you know, like we all did. My husband um, was down longer than everybody. I, I feel like, and I thought that for me, I thought that my symptoms were pre-period symptoms and because the only symptoms I had were a headache and, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. I had a really, really, really bad headache and, you know, the, the, the chills, the, the sweats, you know, that sort of thing. And it, I was fine the very next day, which is why I thought, okay, this just period symptoms because after that came the cycle as well, which is why I thought that. Then my son started to have a little sniffle cough situation. You think, okay, well, what's going on with that? <laughs> you know, then my husband and it took him down and it was like, okay, well, we already know what's going on here. So, you know, we had to nurse him back to health. And that meant um, I was in full on, you know, super mom mode, which meant, we not doing videos. Like I just didn't even have the mental capacity to sit down and watch these shows or review anything. So you won't. And I, and I thought about doing a, um, power review for the last episode, episode five. I really did. I thought about it. And then it was like, it's just been too much time, you know, and we're about to get a new episode on Sunday. And so it's like, uh, it don't even make sense to do that. Um, same thing for Love and Marriage Huntsville. I know you guys didn't get the part three of the reunion and I'm going to at least do a little extra special on Arian Curry and her interview with Tasha K. But right here, we here for Selling Tampa. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for clicking on the video. Um, okay. So we're here for Selling Tampa. I watched it in its entirety first, of course. And this is why I don't normally do show series that are on Netflix exclusively because for one, it's not a week to week thing, which it, you know, it makes it hard to review or should I say it makes it hard to recap, you know, because it's the episodes are, you know, given to me and, you know, and I'm not going to come back from weeks. I don't, at least I don't want to come back from week to week, um, after I know that I've already binged it. Because when I watch something on Netflix, nine times out of ten, if it's a series, I'm going to binge it. Um, and with the other shows that I review, it's a week-to-week -week thing. You know, we have a, a break. You know, there's some time. You know, and then we get a new episode. Whereas on Netflix, all of them are up there. So anyway, we're going to do, like, I guess a small review on my thoughts about the the series itself. And the women, you know, the the the, the small drama that they had. Okay, so... Um, Sherelle, Sherelle is our, I would say she's like Shawnee O'Neal because, and, and, and I say that only because, and I've heard other YouTubers say this, but I, I say this because of the dynamic of it all. Um, well, or should I say her dynamic with the rest of her employees? Shawnee O'Neal likes to get her feet wet, you know, get her hands dirty a little bit. Um, with the rest of the ladies as far as the drama goes and all of that. And then at the drop of a hat, she can flip it on you. And now she's now she wants to, you know, throw the EP card or, you know, pull out her little Trump card. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, first, I want to talk about what I do like about her. I do love the fact that she created this um, brokerage. It, it, would I call it a brokerage? She's a broker. Um, she has a realty group. Uh, I think it's, is it called Allura? Allura Realty? Realty. Realty. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Correct me in the comments. But she is a broker. She has a broker's license, I should say. 
so she can, you know, create her a team of realtors and sell some houses like Keller Williams and them. And um, I commend her for that. And that is to be applauded for sure, because she's a black woman and we love to see that. And she has employed other black women and given them an opportunity to get to the millions. And so we love to see it. We love to see it. Love that. Love that black girl, black girl love that we got going on there. Um, I also like that she's military background and, you know, so she's going to be a very, um, I don't want to use the word militant because that makes it seem like it's a bad thing, but I'm going to say when it comes to business, I know she can hold her own just off the background, just off having the background in military that she does. Um, so that's to be applauded as well. Now, the stuff I don't like. I, I've already told you I don't like that whole I'm in, I'm, I'm, I got one foot in, one foot out. I don't like that. It creates a hostile working environment because people might feel like they can't come to you with their grievances or they feel like they can't express themselves when they should. Everybody but Raina. We're going to get to Raina in a minute, but it, it, it's, it's not, it's not a, it's not, that's not going to be conducive to, you know, a healthy work environment, you know, where people want to come up in there <laughs> because you just lay stuff down and they're supposed to take it. Um, and, you know, for instance, the situation with her um, taking more of their commission, I feel I think it was like 90. Don't I, I didn't write the, the figure down, but it was one way before she changed it. Now she's changing it again and she didn't give them any notice, which she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to do that. I mean, I guess this was a 30 day notice, so I guess that's a notice within itself. But as far as letting them know that the change was, um, you know, in in the works, <laughs> that this is something that she was thinking about in the first place. No, nah, she didn't give them that. She just made the decision to do it and told them, well, in 30 days, it's about to happen. Um, I, I don't want to talk about Raina yet, but I don't I didn't appreciate that. I didn't appreciate that. And I was with Raina on that because it's like, girl, don't blindside me for the second time about my money. <laughs> I mean, so can when can we look forward to this not happening again? <laughs> um, I don't like the way she brings Joanna into the other lady's personal business. Um, it's, it's it's one thing for Joanna to be HR if that's what she is because if she is gonna be on as you know in an HR capacity then okay you know you need that you need that that third party there to make sure everybody's lines you know are cross T's cross dot I's dotted all of that we have to make sure that Sherelle is on the up and up and she's not you know violating people's rights. And, you know, we have to make sure that the, that the employees are also doing what they're supposed to be doing so that, so that, yes, I understand if that's Joanna's role, but you just not going to tell us what her role is. You just going to throw her out, throw her in the midst and she's just, and she all in people business and she is in meetings with you and making phone calls. She's doing all of this stuff and you don't want to tell nobody what, like what, what's her job title. What <laughs> what is she doing here? Do I work for her? Do I work for you? Do I work the, for the both of you? Like, is she getting a piece of my commission? Like, those are the things that people start to think when they don't know what the do girl does. <laughs> besides be a do girl. Um, Joanna is somebody that... Let's just move on to Joanna. <laughs> Joanna is somebody that I don't feel like... I, I know I couldn't work with somebody like her. If she micromanaging, if she is... She reminds me of this the manager that I worked with <laughs> in my last job. She wasn't my manager. We worked together. <laughs> Actually, I could I was more in a HR capacity than anything and I could definitely definitely have her job. So it's like, it's like she didn't, she didn't like that. She didn't like that. I was in her, we worked in a, I'm not going to say what store, but we worked in, at a store and she didn't like that. She would have to answer to me sometimes. Or she felt like, cause she was that store's manager that 
I was one of her employees and I it was like, girl, I'm not. <laughs> I don't work for you. You and I have a supervisor and you ain't it, sis. So I'm gonna need you know so you know so it's like that and with and with Joanna, <laughs> I'm sure th th that's their sentiments. Like I don't work for you, girl. So I, I just really don't understand what what this is. What is this? Joanna's role was never really specified. It was just she works for me, and I, if I put her in charge, she's in charge, and y'all gonna do what she's saying. And it's it's just like um, excuse me, no, ma'am. <laughs> um, what is her job description? Is she HR, like is she is she HR? Um, Joanna seems to be Sherelle's good friend, and she also is a realtor, so she she is on the team as well. Um, but at some point things changed, and she became more of the office manager. And she became more of a, you know, a personal assistant, office manager, slash realtor, <laughs> slash financial advisor. Like she just, she just, her, her job description just got, you know, we just moved the post, you know, at every, at every turn for Joanna and everybody around is like, okay, so hold on. Cause if you want to sit me down when she sat down and Sophie, Joanna was there. So it's like. Why she here? Why she here, I? I <laughs> is she HR? Is there a reason why she has to be sitting up in here when with 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 our private conversation cuz you about to reprimand me and like why you think I want her in my business? <laughs> so, yeah, Sherelle, hostile work environment. We can't do that. You going to have to you're going to have to put it in stone <laughs> or put it in writing or something what this what what her job description is and and stop giving her so many different tasks which make people feel you know a little threatened by that um Raina I like Raina she's very logical very well put together she's fine um She's had all the jobs. <laughs> she worked in corporate America. She was a, a corporate attorney, I should say, and she was a partner in her firm, one of the only black woman there. And so, girl, just off of that right there, you the you the one. <laughs> you the one. Um, I like Raina. I really liked Raina. It seemed like she was she wasn't in the right place. It's like, girl, this ain't what she's supposed to be doing. This ain't what it like, are you for real? You mentoring this lady <laughs> and y'all trying to pretend like you was like you wanted the team. Cause it just, it, she just, it just seemed like Raina shouldn't be sitting with, with those girls. Not to say that, in, you know, like that's no shade to them. It's just, I don't, Raina don't fit within the group to me. Um, but she holds her own. Definitely, you know, love it. Um, I, I had one issue with Raina and that was her, Going to Colony and Ann Sophie, you know, to poach them, you know, basically to come over there with her if she decided to, you know, go off on her own and open her own um, business front. And Ann Sophie was she was she was thinking about the idea. Colony is very loyal to. Sherelle, so it was a no for her, and she felt shaded and slighted. Like, how dare you go against Sherelle? How dare you think that I'm going to go against Sherelle? I kiss the very ground she walks on. I'm not going nowhere. That's Colony. Um, and so Raina, for that, that that was a little mm, that's bad business. But I also understand it. You know, like I also understand the fact that you may need to get your own because it's already looking like they trying to, you know, ice you out just a tad. Because if she started out with the rest of the group, you know, when they when they first started, when she first started the business, just like she Colony was there when when the business first started. And so was Raina. They were the first two. They were the first two agents. And so it's like, why are you leaving them out? And you brought. Joanna in it's like it's 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 ass backwards you would think that the the people that you started with are the ones that you would be the most loyal to the ones that you would have the most trust in and it's like she don't <laughs> she don't 
Um, but I like Raina. We like Raina. We didn't get to see whether or not she opened up the the brokerage or realty group or I, I don't I don't know what I would call it. Sorry guys. We we got we bought one house and so I don't really <laughs> don't really know what the proper term would be for that. But she she we don't know if she if she was gonna you know part ways or not. It was just I guess it was something that she was throwing out there an idea because she went to get that broker's license. Um. And Sophie is another one that's also, you know, th was thinking about getting her broker's license towards the end. You know, so here we go. More competition. Um, I'm going to just move on to Aunt Sophie. Aunt Sophie, from the beginning, I didn't I didn't really care for her. I, I don't know why. It was just like her or Colony are my least favorite. Um, Colony more than Aunt Sophie. And Sophie, neither of them are girls that I would have hung out with in school that I would hang out with today. <laughs> like, they're not my cup of tea at all. But I can appreciate the boss of it all. The boss, bitch, if you want, if you will. Like, I hate it. I hate even using the word boss. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. That's that's the vibe they give. You know, I'm a boss, bitch. I'm a boss, bitch. Though They're those type of girls. <laughs> so, um, we can appreciate that because... It, the when you get down to the root of it all they they are successful you know and that is something to be to be applauded like colony is her top seller so i'm sure she is you know this is her lane and she knows it and she does well in it same for ann sophie and so again and for them to be so young i think ann sophie says she was 27 and um colony was turning 30 so Young women doing the damn thing. And we love to see it. Um, now, do I love to see like what they was given, like personality wise? Uh uh. <laughs> no, cause I don't really I don't really, I know a girl just like Colony that I went to college with and it's like no thank you. Um, same same with Aunt Sophie. It, they're one and the same. You know the birds of a feather. Birds of a feather. Um and Sophie and that deal, girlfriend, <laughs> I don't know why you thought that you was going to go up in them people face and say, okay, the house $9 million. Okay, so well, this, they said they got $4 million. Bam. We got the best offer. No. <laughs> now, granted, you do. And you, of course, this is what the client wants. Okay, whatever. But you're supposed to tell this client. Now, client. The house nine million. I don't think they're gonna accept the four million offer. I don't think they're gonna accept that. You think we can come up a little bit more? Otherwise, I mean, we we gonna lose it. And if you okay with that, whatever. <laughs> but we, not, I'm not playing in them people's face with four million, and and they want nine million. At least come up to six million. You know, like six million nine million. You know, I feel like that would have been, you know, it would have been, it would have been negotiable, but. Four million first, they said three. No, Aunt Sophie. No, ma'am. And she knew that. She knew that. But I mean, I guess TV. She says, I'm the only one putting up an offer in the first place. Um, Colony. Colony. Okay, I talked about her briefly that I mean, I don't really. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> she, we see her right off the bat. And because she's the first one that we see. She's, she's showing this. I want to say six million dollar home. She saw she's showing this million dollar home to this to this guy. I think his name was Choke. It was it was it, I don't know what it, he's he was from. Damn, what he say? Congo. I think he said Congo. I want to say Congo. Anyway, he's um he 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 was looking for a house, and um I was not impressed with him like at all at all like at all <laughs> anyway he he show up to the thing and she got on this little tight short number looking real sassy to just to show the house and i was like okay girl you what you selling she's selling puss she's selling she's selling prop puss and property okay when you got when you when you mess with colony <laughs> when you hire colony you get you gonna get the puss and you're gonna get the the property do your thing, girl. Do your thing. <laughs> but anyway, she she showed the house, whatever. 
Um, and Sophie shows up. Um, and then and now she want him, but she want a piece as well. I'm like, he child, y'all can <laughs> y'all for real? It must just be the muscles. I mean, he was he was built or whatever. Like, you know, he had a nice body, but he just no. Mm-mm. Chow wasn't it. Um, who else we got on the thing? I done talked about Sherelle, Joanna, Raina, and Sophie, Colony. Oh, <laughs> Uh, they so forgettable. <laughs> Carla and um Carla and Alexis and 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 Tanil Tanil just Tanil was so where Tanil from y'all Tanil from Miami she got to be from Miami from the three hundred five from the care she got to be from like Carroll City or um I ain't gonna say Overtown. She she gave Polka Bean Projects fifteen F. That's what she gave. Tennille was very, very South Florida. <laughs> South with an F. South Florida. That was Tennille. Uh, mm, eh. She was messy. Um, I know she's she's another one about her money. You know, about her money. She don't even care about her man like that. You know, that man can live over there. I'm going to live over here so I can keep getting my money. So, yeah, Tennille about her money. That uh, That's what we can gather. We didn't get no much more than that. Uh, we didn't see her sell a home. Um, she, we saw her show a house. You know, her and Alexis, had, you, they worked together on something. Um, Tanil was messy, though. And she another brown noser. She another one that, you know, kisses the ground that Sherelle walks on so she can keep her little place, you know, at the job. Um, and I can't work with nobody like that either. Because she'll throw you under the bus in a minute. In a minute, she will. Um, so that, those are my thoughts on Tanil. Um, Alexis, Alexis, uh, I think they mad that Alexis already is well off. You know, she's with, I think her boyfriend, fiance, baby daddy. I don't want to call him a baby daddy if, you know, if he's more than that. But her significant other is a retired NFL player. And so she all right. <laughs> she doing all right. She do all right financially, I'm sure. And I think that's I think that's what gets the other ladies. It's like you playing. You don't even really need it like that. You just playing around. You're not really taking it serious like we are. Like we're busting our ass. We're grinding. And you show up and you know, just sit around and collect a little check here and there. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, we we hit the ground running and we don't stop until, you know, we close it. Till we at the closing table. And she, I feel like I they said like two years had passed and she is still, you know, not really doing well, not really progressing in her position. And that was a problem for, you know, the rest of the ladies. They they did sit her down and, you know, talk to her about that. Like, girl, you're going to have to step it up. We're here to help. You need some leads. We got you. We're here to help. Let us know how we can help you because it's a family they, 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 I guess, pride themselves on being very family oriented. And so, yeah, girl, we going we here to, we're here to help. We are here to help <laughs> what you need. Alexis, um, doesn't really have to respect out of all the rest of the women. She really don't have to respect. And that's, you know, mainly because she just, you know, I guess a bump on the log. She ain't really doing much. She's not producing like the rest of them. And, she taking up space, I guess. That's what Tanil say. She take. I, I don't know. She got issues with Alexis. Alexis can go or not for me. You know, like y'all can bring her back doing what she should have been doing this season. Like maybe, maybe the next time we see her, she can be, you know, doing a lot more, or we can see into this family life that she, you know, talks about because she blames her her lack of, you know, drive on. The fact that she's a, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I got a lot going on in the family life. I got a lot going on, you know? And it's like, they do too. Everybody got something going on in their lives, you know? So let's not pull that card. You know, it's hard. It's hard to pull that card these days, especially when it comes to a working woman that is a mom. Oh, she don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> Sorry, Lexus, she don't want to hear that. Don't no working mama want to hear what you can't do. Cause it's like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Whether they got help or not, they are people. Listen, they're doing it. So you can't, we can't use that. I'm a mom. Can't even use it no more. That one don't even work. 
not for the working girl, it don't. Not for the working mom, I should say. That don't work. Um, they don't be having no empathy at all. <laughs> At all. So they really don't have no empathy for Alexis. They feel like excuses are tools of incompetence, which bring monuments of nothingness. We don't want to hear that. <laughs> sell them houses, girl. Get out there and sell them houses. That's all they're caring about. Get out there and sell them houses, Alex. Okay, girl. Um, Carla is another one. She's in the same predicament. Although Carla, you know, has, I guess, done more than she has. Um, Carla fell into depression during the pandemic. Uh, she broke up with her high school sweetheart. Her high school sweetheart happened to went to high school with my husband. He was like, that's Carla. That's Carla. <laughs> um, so Carlos, Carlos, Carla, she from Orlando. Um, Carla, she, Carla, we didn't get to know much about her either, except for that. You know, like she's cool. I, I, I if, if I had to choose between Carla and Alexis, it would be Carla. Cause Carla, um, she brought that aspect of, you know, the bilingual, um aspect of it all because there was a deal and there're going to probably be many more deals especially in Florida where the buyer or potential um builder is going to want to talk to somebody that speaks Spanish and so they can, they ran into that and she was there at the meeting and he loved the fact that she was fluent in Spanish you know so they did that whole conversation in Spanish and um so listen we love that too Love to see it. Love to see the bilingual of it all. <laughs> um, and so, you know, that that helped her out. And, it, you know, it, it. I think that she's going to do more with that builder. Um, there was um, a cameo appearance from the Mayel creators, you know, Monique and her husband. And they were looking for, listen, their budget was $10 million. I see. Ten million dollars? Oh my god! <laughs> A budget of ten million dollars. Mm. I see it, Lord. Do it, God. <laughs> Do it, Jesus. Do Jesus, please. Okay. Do it. Do it. I want my. I want a budget of a ten of ten million. I want a budget of fifteen million. Okay. In Jesus' name. And it is so. Um, I love I love to see them on there. They were looking for their house. Okay, all oh, this thing. What we want? We want something bigger, bigger than this mansion. Thank you. Yes, we want bigger. The little the little baby. The, the her daughter say, oh, we need. We gonna have to have room for the horse because I got a horse, whole horse. I said, this where my money. This where my coin going. Buying horses and ten million dollar homes. I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna keep buying the Mayo products because they work. Because they work. Listen, Mayo, y'all can send me a check and I will gladly advertise over here on my YouTube, on the Instagram, on the Facebook, wherever. If you're looking for a brand ambassador, I'm your girl because I use the products anyway on me and Eden. You know, we love them. We love them. And I feel like they constantly coming out with a new line and it's like, I can't keep up, but I love it. I love it. I love the growth. I love the growth. Um. Anyway, back back to selling Tampa. So Sherelle, uh, I didn't even mention this. She is Ocho Cinco's um, girlfriend. And now, you know, the mother of his child. She just had a baby. I want to say over the weekend, they had their daughter. And so kudos and congratulations to them for that. Um, so I'm sure, well, hopefully we're going to see, you know, in the second season, what's, what, what happens with that. Or um, if they were filming, you know, while she was still pregnant. Um, we would get to see all of that, that, you know, that dynamic of the back and forth because he lives in Miami and she's in Tampa. So what happened with that? Did you leave the business? Did you leave it in Joanna's hands while you went and, you know, you did your, did your mommy thing over there in Miami? Like what's going on? What's happening? You know, we're interested to see. Um, selling Tampa was cool. I liked the, I liked the flow of things. I liked the fact that they, would come in every morning and do the morning meeting. I think that that was, you know, like a, a thing. Um, Cause it, there, the office seemed very staged anyway. It was very staged. <laughs> the decor and everything. It's like, don't nobody work up in here. What a fax machine and what a coffee machine. And where's the break room? <laughs> Where is the water fountain? 
what's happening? It was very nice and pristine, pristine in there and clean and everything is in its place. It ain't a lot of stuff everywhere. Yeah, ain't no work getting done in that office. Um, but it was nicely staged, you know, nice and pretty inside. Um, so so were the fashions. I was like, y'all coming to work? Ain't no way you at you coming to work like this from Monday to Friday, Sherelle. Not Monday to Friday, you coming to work like this. <laughs> so they did they did what they needed to do for the TV. Um, okay, I've been talking like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna get up off of here so I can um go ahead and run my mouth about Arian Curry. Her sorry ass. <laughs> way um i hope that we get a season two um let me know what you guys thought about the season if you have not tuned in i encourage you to do so it's good good tv um you know it's not a whole lot of drama and all of that if you want to see some million dollar homes go over there and see them um hopefully in this in the second season we can see a lot more million dollar homes you know like we drove past some on a boat um you know, they, they showed a couple, but I want to see some homes. And I want to see them sell and close these on these homes. So, yeah, give us a season two so we can see that, you know. I think maybe this was just maybe the introduction of, you know, the cast. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but I'll be here if we get another one. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Peace and light. <laughs>